I love libraries and I always have done. Um, as, a, as a kid, they were like portals to other worlds, to bigger dreams, better writing. Um, as a child, I was a big, big fan of uh, BBC radio comedy. And because of that, I went back to the library and found these fantastic comic novels. I don't know, um, Cocoon by Spike Milligan and, and Woodhouse and War and uh, all these wonderful people. Flan O'Brien, it's magnificent stuff. Cold Comfort Farm, Catch-22, Joseph Eller. It's just all of these books coming back to me now, which I found at the library. Uh, also, great, great music books like um, A Wop Bop A Loo Bop A Lop Bamboom by Nick Cumming, which was just absolutely brilliantly written. And as I got interested in uh, politics and I found George Orwell and Trestle uh, and all these wonderful things of course and as I got older and, and more sophisticated maybe a bit of Marx and Franz Kafka and people like that and trying to explore push into new areas all the time uh, and that's what I did basically through the library and that's why I think libraries are so important I mean we didn't have much money growing up and we certainly didn't have a lot of books at home um, and so the library gave me a free education which as it gave everybody a free education an education bigger than the English literature course or, um, or the, or the books we were studying at school uh, so that's why I'm indebted to libraries, always will do, love libraries, love Westminster Library in particular, as I'm coming there soon. So, but um, it's a great thing and we should support libraries as much as we can.